The Central Intelligence Agency doesn't care that I'm ugly. They know I have a beautiful mind, and I was born for international pharmaceutical industrial sabotage. When I said that the South Africans and Australians are not, the people are not unlike, right, because they're Protestants, you might say, well, what is that? That doesn't mean anything, but the fact of the matter is, Australia has been blessed with a somewhat sustainable situation, whereas uh, South Africa was abandoned by a, a complacent empire on a continent surrounded by people who hate them. And Gandhi was not Hindu. So they have been under Muslim protection disguised as Hindu protection. They're not allowed to eat beef. They're not allowed to range cattle. And after a hundred years or so, your, your grandkids might be a little racist. Shame Protestantism isn't the most realist religion. Or they might say, well, oh, those people over there could use better help than they are receiving at the hands of Genghis Gandhi. These people today didn't choose to go there. They are born there. And do the Zulu not eat beef? Oh, the Zulu don't need Indian protection. I see what's going on now. In fact, I saw what was going on all along. That's why I keep saying Gandhi wasn't Hindu. Idiot grandmasters. I can go on and on. You can't ban waterboarding. And if we had a, a fleet-level Navy port of call on the Cape of Good Hope, we could allow Russia pretty much free reign of uh, the Indian Ocean. I mean, they would see to our interests, right, Navy? They would ensure that there was no need for us to sail east of Jerusalem. My theory is that you did not have to become the unwashed zombie asshole apocalypse you are now.